rising sea levels, droughts, melting polar ice caps, extreme weather events. Everyone is aware of the direct impacts of climate change, yet little attention is given to climate security. The relationship between national security, human security, and climate change. So how can we prepare for the threats posed by climate security? That's why we've developed a gamified analysis tool to prepare for such an event. Picture this scenario. After two seasons without rainfall, researchers anticipate another dry year for your country. The drought will lead to a 75% decrease in rainfall and a 65% decrease in food production. Severe water shortages result in 20% of the population being malnourished, 3 million unemployed in agriculture, and 600,000 people who move into the cities from rural areas looking for work. The result is the growth of slums, rising tensions over scarce food and water supplies, leading to violent conflict and political instability. The dire situation causes large-scale illegal migration and rising tensions in destination countries with the local population, leading to closing of the borders. So what do you, a policymaker, member of an international organization, or businessman do in this scenario? To conceptualize this, HCSS has developed a climate security capability game as a gamified analysis tool with the aim to increase your awareness about relevant capabilities that are needed for conflict prevention in the context of climate change. This game will help to address what climate change will mean for the planning of policies, activities and operations of different actors and to discuss the role of militaries in climate change prevention, response and aftercare. The game consists of a two-dimensional game board. On one side are the different functional areas of the climate security policy, that is, diplomatic, informational, military, and economic. On the other side are the strategic functions, where you decide whether any given policy falls under preparation for a crisis, direct response to a crisis, or care after the crisis has already happened. Now the aim of the game is to increase awareness of the relevant capabilities necessary for conflict prevention in the context of climate change. So to achieve this, you are given 46 different capability cards. A capability is the ability to do something with an intended effect. So a capability could be something like an emergency relief operation after an extreme weather event in order to reduce the negative impact on local communities. The game is played by placing these capability cards on the game board. For instance, an international climate agreement might be classified as diplomatic and as a preparation measure before the crisis. When you place a card on the board, you have to consider the magnitude of the capabilities effect, what the implementation time will be, and at whom it is aimed. But here's the interesting part. There are no right or wrong answers. For every card you play, you can justify to other players your reasoning for playing that card. This can be done in person, in hybrid form, or online, where the comments of other players are available on screen. In the hybrid or in-person format, a moderator can stimulate discussion about the placement of capabilities. On top of that, not all cards will always be relevant in each scenario. Besides the scenario of severe drought, the game also contains scenarios of deltas under pressure due to rising sea levels, the flooding of an island nation, extreme heat waves in cities, and the warming of the Arctic region. It is up to you to decide what scenarios you will use, which capabilities are relevant, and where they belong in each crisis. This game can be played with hundreds of people from anywhere in the world at any time. You can even pause and come back to play another time. This is the game to support strategic discussions on preparing for any scenario setting. Welcome to the HCSS Strategic Capability Game. Let's play.